Surah 52, Al-Tur, the Mount, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, by the Mount, and the book inscribed on fine parchment, by the much frequented house, by the elevated canopy, and by the swelling sea. Verily, your Lord's chastisement shall come to pass. None can avert that. It shall come to pass on the day when the heaven will convulse in a great convulsion and the mountains shall violently fly about. Woe, then, on that day to those who give the lie to this message, and amuse themselves with vain argumentation, on the day when they shall be thrust into hell with a violent thrust, and shall be told, This is the hell which you used to give the lie to. Is this then any feat of magic, or are you unable to see? Go now, and burn in it. It is all the same whether you bear it patiently, or do not bear it with patience you are only being recompensed for your deeds. Surely the God-fearing shall be in gardens and bliss, enjoying what Allah will have endowed them with, and their Lord will have saved them from the torment of the blazing fire. They will be told, Eat and drink to your heart's content as a reward for your deeds. The God-fearing shall be reclining on couches facing each other, and we shall wed them to maidens with large, beautiful eyes. We shall unite the believers with those descendants of theirs who followed them in their faith and shall not deny them any part of the reward for their good deeds. Every person is pledged to what he did. We shall provide them in abundance with all kinds of fruit and meat, whatever they may desire. They shall pass on to one another a cup that will incite neither levity nor sin. Youths as fair as hidden pearls will be set apart to wait upon them. They will be running to and fro to serve them. They will turn to one another and ask regarding the past events. They will say, when we were living before among our kinsfolk, we lived in constant fear of Allah's displeasure. Then Allah graced us with His favor and saved us from the chastisement of the scorching wind. Formerly, we had always prayed to Him. Surely, He is most benign, most compassionate. So exhort them, O Prophet, for by your Lord's grace, you are neither a soothsayer nor a madman. Or do they say, he is a poet for whom we wait an adverse turn of fortune. Tell them, Wait, I too am waiting with you. Do their minds prompt them to say such things, or are they a people immersed in transgression? Do they say, He has himself fabricated the Qur'an? No, the truth is that they are altogether averse to believing. If they are truthful in this, then let them produce a discourse of similar splendor. Did they come into being without any creator? Or were they their own creators? Or is it they who created the heavens and the earth? No, the truth is that they lack sure faith. Or do they have your Lord's treasures in their keeping? Or have absolute authority over them? Or do they have a ladder whereupon they can climb and attempt to listen to what is transpiring in the higher realm? Then let any of them who has listened to it produce a clear proof of it. Or does Allah have daughters whereas you have sons? Or is it that you ask of them any recompense so that they should fear to be weighed down under the burden of debt? Or is it that they have access to the truths in the realm beyond sense perception which they are writing down? Or are they contriving a stratagem against you? If so, that stratagem will rebound against the unbelievers. Do they have any God other than Allah? Exalted be Allah above whatever they associate with Him in His divinity. So obstinate are they that even if they were to see some fragments of the sky falling down, they would still say, it's only a massive cloud. So leave them alone until they encounter that day of theirs when they shall be struck down. When their stratagem shall be of no avail to them, nor shall they be succored. Surely a chastisement awaits the wrongdoers even before the coming of that day, but most of them do not know. Be patient then, O Prophet, until the judgment of your Lord comes, for surely, you are before our eyes, and celebrate the praise of your Lord when you rise. And also celebrate His praise at night and at the retreat of the stars.